All right, ready, set, three, two. All right. Oh, I put in, I put in 11 points. I didn't put this one in, I'm sorry. I'm still behind. All right. I'm sorry. All right, 11.3 worksheet. What would you like? Go ahead. How much? Eight. Okay. All right. So, number eight. Who's not here? Not really. Sorry. Are you more excited for Star Wars? Yes. Um, number eight is. I forget. Is it the square base, but you have two pyramids yeah. that are attached? Okay. All right. All right. Number eight. So if we have we have two two square pyramids that the square part we have been fused together and it creates these two pyramids that would technically mean, because they're both squares, would mean I have eight, so this is problem number eight, so I have eight triangles that are identical. Would that make sense for me to state that? I'm not worried about the two bases being glued together, I'm just trying to find the surface area. So if those two were glued together, I'm not worried about painting it. So I just want the eight triangles. So it looks like our triangle, they tell us we have a slant height of what? 10. And the base of our squares is, is uh, 4, right? So I'm going to go 8 times 1 half base times height. Uh, so 8 times 1 half, the base is 4. The height is 10, and that's going to be 160 square units. It's one. Is that okay? Does that make sense? Okay, yeah. Six. Six, yeah. All right. Number six. Number six is a little goofy, and the reason I'm going to say number six is a little goofy is this reason. You have a rectangle base, so you have two triangles, a front and a back, that are the same. And then two other triangles that are the same as well, but they're not, you don't have four equal triangles because the base happens to be a rectangle. So let's, uh, let's bring up kind of a rectangle, see if we can draw this a little bit. Um, rotate it. All right. Come in here, make that white. And if it's a rectangle, which one am I doing? I'm sorry. And I can't really see the. So things that I know is I have two triangles and two triangles. They tell us that these all the way around, there's four of them. So I have a slant height of five. I have a four here and a six here. Okay, that's going to make it make sense. All right, so. I have two of these types of triangles where I have this is my dimensions. The base is six, the side is five, this is also five. I have two of these triangles just like that. Is that okay? So if I wanted to, I could draw in a height. This actually becomes L, the slant height. Okay? This distance here 
right here is 3. So this is our 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Does that make sense for me to say that? So in order for me to find the area of this, I have two of them. And then I have 1 half base times height. So 2 times half is just 1. I have 1 times the base. The base is 6. The height is 4. So two of my triangles have an area, total area between the two of them of 24, 12 and a 12. So that's the first one. Our second one, we have two more triangles that I have a base of 4, but I still have a slant height of 5. So if I bring this straight down, that's my slant height. If I, and this right here becomes a distance of 2. So I get 2 squared plus L squared is, oh, excuse me, is equal to 5 squared. So that's 4 plus L squared equals 25. L squared equals 21. So L is equal to root 21. Okay? So this is root 21 in size. How many of these triangles do I have? Two. So I have 2 times 1 half base times height. Okay? 2 times half is just 1. I have a base of 4. And what's my new height? It's my root 21, okay? So then I get 4 times root 21 is just 4, 21. So my triangles, the four of them that I have, two one dimension, two another dimension, if I add those together, that gets me my lateral surface area. So my lateral surface area, which is just the triangles, is 24 plus 4 root 21. Squan or square units. Okay? The area of my base, that's a rectangle, that's just 24 squan. So if I want my total surface area, I'm going to add 24 plus 24, so I get 48 plus 4 root 21 squan. Done. Yeah? How would you find the apothem on 3? Apothem on 3. Why is there apothem on 3? Like if you're using the equation, is it that? Oh. And, okay, so the apothem on number three has to be 20 because it's a square pyramid, and the apothem goes from the center to the side because the side is equal parts. So the apothem also that so that should work then. Okay. Have a constant and then and then you would have to find the slant height. So you'd have uh, 20, 21, and I think it's 29 is the slant height. Okay. I think. Go ahead. Five. Number five. Okay, we have a we have a isosceles. Excuse me. We have an equilateral triangle as our base. I discovered it today, though. Really? <laughs> he figured out how to make lines seem dotted when they're really not supposed to be. Yeah. My dad calls me son. I know I'm right. You always say that joke on me. Yes. <laughs> no, because it is true. I'll have to tell my dad. I'll tag him in today's video. Dad, yeah, I talked about you. Oh, yeah, you're recording this. Right? You should still do a recording of the orange story. You got it. Did you start off? Yes. I don't want to turn off watch that stuff. Oh, man. That wasn't really a bad Shots one. fired. <laughs> I'm still bright. Well, I mean, I was trying to have kind Mr. of Mr. Stark, well, to him, what you have there on your face are sunglasses. Some glasses? No, sun. Glasses. Oh, they are my sun glasses. Thank you. They make me feel better. All right. All right. <laughs> find the lateral lateral area and the total surface area. Okay, so let's find the area of the equilateral triangle. That was what, like root three <laughs> over four s squared. Okay, same idea. So this is going to give me 100 root 3 over 4. 
So the base has an area of 25 root 3 square units. So that's the base area. Is that okay? What number is this? This is number 5. Okay. Hey, how many, how many lateral triangles do I have? I have three of them. Okay, I have three lateral triangles. So let's draw in. We have three of these. Okay. I know this to be 13, this to be 10. If I draw in the height, this is now 5. So this is our old 5, 12, 13. Right triangle, agreed? Dagger and triple. So I have three of these, so I'm going to go three times one half base times height. So three times half. The base is 10. The height is 12. And so, what is that? Uh, 180? Did I do that right? So my lateral area is 180. So that's my lateral surface area. And so my total surface area would be those two added together. So 180 plus 25 root 3 square units, or squun. So that's my total surface area. That includes the bottom as well. Yeah. Did you pull it? Uh huh. Okay, I have a square pyramid. So the four triangles are going to be identical, right? So Dancing, huh? I love that. Is that your new favorite thing? Negro, so round hamburgers, half digits, half of the twins. You cannot play this. Mm -hmm. Is that the wrong one? Not unless it's Billy Joel. It's not unless it's Billy Joel. English with me for many years. Yeah, no, we have three students that are Dutch. So we know where English is from. Okay, five. Alright. So this number, number four. Base is 12. Slant height is 10. Okay? We ready? Alright. So let's find the area of the base first. It's got to be 144 square units. Agreed? Anyone stuck on that? All right, so now let's take our four triangles. So we'll multiply by four. So this is 12, this is 10, this is 10. I'm going to draw myself in a height. So now this is six. Uh, oh, that's got to be eight. That's a three, four, five in disguise where we multiplied everything by two. Three, four, five in the sky. Yeah, baby. All right, so uh, now I have four times one half base times height. So base is 12, height is 8, right? Four times half is 2. 2 times, what's 8 times 12? 96. What's 2 times 96? 1. 92. 92. One, that's my lateral surface area. Okay, so if I add that with my area of my, so 192 plus 144, that's going to give me, what, that's 6, that's 3, that's 336 square units. That's my total surface area. Oh, cool. Anything else? Go on once. Go on twice. Draw us a shape. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's why I did it. Yeah. Splat. Splat. But why not? No, I mean. Could you just make why that the thumbnail? Because why not? Which way are you getting? Nope, I already gave you guys points for it. <laughs> what did I even do it for? You just waste my time. <laughs> Good, because I admittedly didn't do it. Don't worry. Please, be quiet. I'll take it. Lee didn't do his homework. Wow, you did. What? You're so mean. <laughs> I'm just trying to pass blame off myself. What? <laughs> Take a bullet. <laughs> no. Take the bullet. Bullets are bad for you. <laughs> I'm allergic to fire. <laughs> All right. You know what's not allergic to fire? What? Time comes. We're not allergic to fire. They just <laughs> killed us. They just killed us. I mean, I'm allergic to bullets. <laughs> Same. Same. Especially man. ones that are going at high speeds towards my head. <laughs> but Surely. allergic means not <laughs> When I go to a gun store, like I, I just come out in hives. No, talking about bad stuff. We're still recording. <laughs> we're we're talking oh. about how we're talking Sorry, about bullet allergies. Who watch this yeah. for some reason. <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to be the best episode on your YouTube channel. Yes. I don't know. Because they can't actually see us. Yeah. All they hear is our conversations. That's true. It's like, who are these people? Okay. Ready? Notes are pretty short. I'm going to get done pretty quick. You guys will still yeah. with me? I accidentally put them in my Like 17 minutes, like the other lady did. Yeah, that's what she said, did you? Hey, so some questions have come up on teachers to take. Uh, let's see. I know we have Padovic, Peterson, Gaitis, Reichert. No, not me. I'm not sure we're repeating this class. Padovic, Peterson, Gaitis, Reichert. Oh, Schumann Smith. <laughs> it sounded like you said human Smith. Human Smith. Yes, I am. Anybody else on there that I'm forgetting? Carter? Oh, yeah, you have the masses. Okay. And then. Matt Ritz. So they, he's called Mr. Mr., actually. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah, he goes by Mr. Mr. What? <laughs> because his last name's hyphenated, it's Matt Ritz, so Mr. Mr. <laughs> All right, hey, so. Mr. Let's see. Padovic. I would put my daughters in before I would put in my mom class. Peterson, very well organized. Padovic, organized as well. Uh, dry sense of humor, lovely personality. The guy is, love the guy. Put my daughters in him in a heartbeat. Great guy. Uh, Riker, true rock star of a teacher. Absolutely adore her. She's a great teacher. Uh, Schumann Smith, absolutely adore. Uh, she's Carter. Um, He's a great teacher. He has like three master's degrees in math. It's ridiculous how much math the dude knows. It's ridiculous, um, man. And then Mr. Mister, uh, great teacher. So he's our one of our lacrosse coaches, robotics coach. Uh, she deals with our our uh, uh, green thumb club or something. Volleyball coach. Volleyball coach for boys and girls. Also lacrosse coach. Uh, no coach, no coach. So, uh, are you just putting dots everywhere? I am. So, so basically, you so so who would I recommend? I I don't think you're gonna go wrong at all. Who's most like me? None of them. <laughs> no. So, if if I'm just gonna say this, it is on video. If I had to rank, like if I if my daughter Leah was going to take one of these people next year. Who would I put my daughter in with? My let's see. My daughter, she's she. My first, my oldest daughter, she's pretty quiet. She's very much of an introvert. Okay, plays piano. Great kid. I would probably recommend her for Schumann Smith, um, or Peterson. Okay, not that there's anything wrong with anybody else. I'm just as far as the personalities of my, my oldest daughter. 
My youngest daughter, who will talk with anybody, make boys cry, and anything else, uh, I would put my second daughter in with Padovic, Dugaitis, Reichert. Um, if it came down to between Carter and Mr. Mister, I wish I could tell you more about them. I don't know a whole lot. Uh, Mr. Carter, this was his second year here. He taught up in the mountains. Mr. Mister taught at a preparatory school back east. Knows more about lacrosse than 99% of the rest of the population. <laughs> He's been here for a year. I think they're both excellent teachers. I just don't know enough about them to make a conscious effort. If either of my daughters fell into either of their classes, I would be 100% fine with it. Okay? They just, why, why would they Which be following in the class? Like, I <laughs> All math say. teachers really have to go at the same speed. Like, explain to me? They, they all do a fantastic job. Um, you I, all think they're better than you? I, I think they are. You think about that as both. I, I would put me at about these guys' level as far as... And that's just because you don't know them all that well. Yeah. And then I, 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 think, I think they're all better teachers than I am. So... I think you're fine. Yeah. Who has the best late policy? Who has the best late policy? None of them. That's that's what. Mr. Sturm. Mr. Sturm has, the best, Sturm has the best late policy. Hey, you didn't do the homework. That's fine. Yeah, I put it in the great days guy. Ago. Really, I have so much respect for him. Really like him a lot. He's a good teacher. He, yeah, I think he's a super unbelievable teacher. He's probably he's. Explains it very well. Absolutely. So does Pete. I mean, they really do. The Padvik? Padvik, yeah. I, I mean, really, I really have a lot of respect for him. But I have so much respect for Peterson. I have so much respect for all of them. So I can't really tell you who's the best. I, I, just tried, I was just trying to give you, if my oldest daughter, Leah, who's a freshman, who would be a sophomore next year in algebra two, who, if, if she came home, Dad, who should I take? I would probably put her in Schumann Smith or Peterson's class. And she's my introvert. She's my piano player. She's that kid. My youngest daughter, who's more social, I would, if, if you know, I didn't want to goof up her schedule. If it's like, oh, well, it's this really great English teacher. Or, you know, but if it came down to it, it doesn't really matter. I would put my old, youngest daughter <laughs> in Padovic, Degaitis, uh, or Reichert's in a heartbeat. But again, if they were went to Carter or Mr. Mister, Mattis Ritz, they're both they're awesome. So who who is your best cup of tea? I, they're fantastic. So yeah, I think it relates to what period you wanted, right? Would that make sense? I know I didn't answer any of your questions. I'm sorry, but I I can't. But. It, what you all have to realize is I really think that we have truly an unbelievable math department, and I don't think you're going to be steered wrong whomever you take. Now, I will tell you that when, when I was at Chaparral, that was a lot different. There were teachers I thought, oh, steer clear of that person. I mean, it was bad. There was some really bad teachers. And I, they didn't, they hated what they did. They hated kids. And you looked at them going, why are you even here? But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Thank you. You, you just did. <laughs> <laughs> so. so if I had to go around the room and say who would be the best fit for you, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, that I just gave you my, my two cents, but in all reality, I'd put my daughters in any of these people's classes without thinking twice about it. Okay. So it comes down to if you are if you are sold on a particular period, then go for it. Okay? All of them care for kids. All of them do what's best for kids. So that's where so you're if we need help and we know that you can explain it really good, can we You my you once my student are always my student. In fact, I now have former students who are 37, 38, 39 years old who they have kids in high school now, who are contacting me to help have them help. So I've been Skyping some of my former students' kids, tutoring them, 
Do you like doing it? It's the question. Yeah, it's fine. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be talking about cones. Uh, no, we're not going to do this. Do you charge ice cream? I do. Uh, we're not going to do this either. Skype, this was an activity about eating ice cream. All right, so here we Wait, go. What? We're not doing the activity about eating ice cream? No, the, I forgot to bring ice cream. All right, so terms for a cone. You have the vertex, is the point it comes to. You have the actual height, which is perpendicular to the base always. You have the slant height, which is down the side. You have the lateral surface, which is the actual cone itself, and then you have the base, which is a circle. Okay. So it's the slant height would be known as cursive L, vertex we're fine with. This regular height we just call lowercase h. And then, you know, obviously this base has to be pi r squared because it's a circle. Okay. Can I move on? All right. So if I were to take a cone, if I went back here and I said, I don't have my base, but I make a cut right along the side of it, and I try and lay out my, my shape flat, this is what it's going to look like. So it's kind of a weird shape. You know, you know this would be the radius of the circle here and here. That's about it. And then this distance around here has got to be 2 pi r, okay, because that's this distance here. Actually, that's not r. This, is, this would have been your uh, uh, slant height, L. Because we took a three-dimensional object and made it flat. Cool. All right. So the formula for the lateral area is pi r l to find the actual area, the surface area of the cone itself. If you wanted to include the total surface area, so include the circle, I bet you can look up there and see what part goes with the circle on the surface area, which is pi r squared. So pi r l, pi r is the radius of the circle, l is the slant height. I know. Isn't she close this weekend? Say yes. Yes. That'd be awesome. I don't know. If you, you could catch her pretty old looking 13. So Actually, are you 15? Games? Are you 15? Yeah. Are you playing any games this weekend? Because I'm playing. We're playing U13 to U15 soccer. You two want to be on me too? I can take three. Can I play? No. <laughs> <laughs> can I play if I wear a wig? Are you guys are all under the age of 15 or 15? Are you 15? It's 15. Jerani wants to get on the goalie. Sweet. Just, guys, just hook arms. You'll be a great goalie. What oh, oh, position you got? Oh, that'd be awesome. Jill plays soccer one kid, but I don't think she came into the club. No, not yet. Never mind. <laughs> no, not yet. I feel like I'd be really scared with going to my ankles right now. Like laying Just off. have like, like, like triple shin guards on. Like, me and Jill used to play men together. Because you guys are slide tackling kids. People are like, where is this coming from? <laughs> All right. All right, find the lateral area. So uh, if I were to draw down this slant height right here, that would be 13. 13. Yeah, that's L. So that has to be 13. So the lateral area is pi r l. So I have pi times the radius, which is 5, times L, which is 13. So I get 65 pi square units. Is that okay? Find the total surface area. Well, that's pi r squared plus pi r l. Well, I already know pi r l is 65 pi, right? And then... That's got to be 25 pi. So if I add those together, I get like, you know, 115 pi, right? Blake, I was being sarcastic. What? I think I... Oh, 
took a micro nap there. And <laughs> micro nap. Cool. So lateral area is 65 pi. The area of our circle has to be 25 pi. If I want the total surface area, add the area of the circle and the lateral surface area to get 90 pi square units. Beautiful. Can I move on? Yo. Yeah. Here we go. All right. How much poster board will be needed to form the cone shown? The cone shown. <laughs> So this is, we're trying to make like a megaphone out of it, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're not going to include the base. So I'm just looking for pi RL. I'm just looking for the cone itself. So if this is one foot, my radius would be 0.5 of a foot. This is an inches, so 0.5 of a foot is 6 inches. Agreed? Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. All right, so I have pi times R, which is 6 inches times L, which is 18 inches. Uh, do you guys, can you do some multiplication for me? How much? 108. 108 pi square inches. So this is squint. Are you forgetting you? I know. What do y'all think? Am I doing okay so far? No applause, just throw money. Or ice cream. What if we don't have a container on the ice cream, but just like chuck <laughs> spoonfuls? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what you would do. We should we should, oh, you know the thing where you like, uh, I think they're called, I forgot what they're called, but it's like uh, the medieval ages where you like, you have like this and people did tomatoes. You just throw ice cream. Ice cream. Have any of you ever gone into where the slurpee machine is and done this? Because I have. And I won't tell you which ones I've done it with. Well, as long as you don't put your lips like on it. No, you got to make a seal. Go, R, 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 R. got to make a seal. <laughs> I'm going to go now. Okay. I think we'll all appreciate that. All right, a cone with total surface area, so that includes the bottom of it as well. 96 pi, is this right? Am I right so far on this one? Yeah. One of them would change. Has a radius of six, find the height of the cone. So the surface area is equal to pi r squared plus pi r l. Is that okay so far? Surface area we know is 96 pi is equal to pi r squared. Do we know the radius? Six, so six squared is 36 plus pi times 6 times L. I don't know L. Okay, well let's divide everything by pi first. So this becomes 96 over here is equal to 36 plus 6L. Is that all right? Subtract 36, so I get 60 is equal to 6L. So L is equal to 10 units. That was so cool. Yes, and I was thinking about you guys take it home and do the orange story on Friday, but I have to check with the other teachors. Wait, really? Yeah, they're, they're probably yeah they'll be mad because they don't know the orange story stuff. So. Please. Please. I can't tell if you're joking, and I really want you not to be. I know, same. All right, we had changed ours to 184. All right, so a cone has a total surface area of 184 pi square centimeters, has a slant height of 15 centimeters. What is the radius of the base? So again, the surface area of a cone is pi r squared plus pi r l. Yeah? Yeah. Surface area, we're calling it 184. We realized we changed it on your sheets. Equals pi r squared, we don't know, plus pi r, we don't know, but we know the slant height of 15. So divide it by pi. Then yeah, let's 15. knock out pi. Everyone, Everything gets divided by pi, so I get 184 is equal to r squared plus 15r. Uh, no. Wouldn't that pi only cancel out one pi? I have three terms. I divide everything by pi. It does nicely. We're dividing and not subtracting. Oh, uh, right. All right. Uh, so let's move the 184 over. So I get r squared plus 15r minus 184. So... What are the factors of 184? One has to be positive, one has to be negative. 
So let's go 1 and 184, 2 and 62. 3 doesn't work, no. Uh, not four. 62. 4 works. No, 4 not, times 46. It's 62. It's 92. Okay, 90. Thank you. <laughs> 4 and 46. Trying to get 15. 5 and no. 6. The 6, no. 7 work. No. 8 work. No. Does it? It's 8 and 23. 8 and 23. Sweet. And I think that's going to work. One of them has to be positive, one has to be negative. So I get r squared plus 23r minus 8r minus 184. So I get r, r plus 23 minus 8. Factor that. So r plus 23. So r plus 23 and r minus 8. So r plus 23 won't work because that gives me a negative. So I have a radius of 8. I have an extraneous solution. So we I know I love factoring. It's a happy day. All right. Questions. None. Good. Worksheet 11.4. Quiz on 11.1 to 11.4 on Friday. So do you, do you think we're going to have to take it in class on Friday? Correct. I'm sure. <laughs>